they were held by our most honored. And touched by the youngest hands. They helped us celebrate, tell stories, and reminded us who we were. And all of them are gathered in one place to tell their stories under a golden light. My name is Harold Smith. I'm 100 years old. I was born in St. Paul in 1918. And uh, as an infant, I survived the flu epidemic. So I was lucky to begin with. And uh, uh, my folks uh, moved to uh, the uh, Upper West Side in St. Paul. And uh, I went to uh, Crowley School, Roosevelt Junior High graduated Humboldt High School all the time. We went to the Tamatora. We went to the Tamatora uh, four days a week and Sunday. As a little kid, I used to walk from the Crowley School all the way down to the Lower West Side where the Tamatora building was. But I'd stop at my grandma's house to get a cookie on the way. And then I graduated uh, high school in 1934, and then I went on to the uh, University of Minnesota. I was introduced to a dealer in New York, and uh, Peter Ehrenthal, and this is after the war, he went to Europe to, to resurrect all kinds of items that had been stolen uh, by the Nazis from Jewish homes and uh, hidden or maybe uh, taken over by non-Jews and uh, sold in, in uh, flea markets and stuff. And uh, so he had a, a big collection of stuff and I got interested and I started buying from him and then through the years we accumulated all this. Evan Bauer at the time was building an addition to the Minneapolis Institute of Art. And uh, he had set aside one segment for a, a Judaic gallery. So we got together and uh, uh, he said, if you'll pay for the gallery, we'll allow you to put your uh, artifacts in there. I said, okay. collection started about 40, 50, 60 years ago. My wife and I, in our travels through the United States and Europe and Africa, uh, picked up these various Jewish uh, artifacts. Evan Maurer, who's director of the uh, Art Institute, said he wanted to establish a Jew Judaic gallery. And so we got together and we put together this gallery so that all the people in the Twin Cities could be able to see them too. Here is a Hanukkah that uh, was made in Poland. Uh, in our travels, we, we picked up all this up. Now this one here, this little Hanukkah, we commissioned uh, Michael Endy, one of the outstanding silversmiths in Israel, to do that in memory of our daughter Marjorie. Our daughter Marjorie passed away in 1981. And in her memory, if you ever get over to St. Paul, the St. Paul Talmator building is named after Marjorie. The one back there is one that my grandma brought from Europe in 1900, and that was made in, uh, in the Ukraine. Now here's another one of my favorites. This is a Omer counter. You know, you count the Omer from the second day of Pesach to Shavuos, and it's got pictures for each day. There are books of uh, places of Jewish interest. And we, wherever we were, like in, uh, in Prague or Budapest, we searched out those places and 
and some of the items we got from a dealer right after the Second World War in uh, 19, around 1950. This is now a uh, Torah crown. Uh, this I got from the synagogue that I went to when I was a kid. Come on around over here so you can see. Come on. And over here, another one of my favorites, there, that's st sterling silver thrilling holders. And here are a couple more spice boxes in the form of uh, towers. We want to say thank you. Oh, you're welcome. For having a place for us to come. We've been coming since they were in kindergarten and now they're in seventh and eighth grade. Good. And they've seen this exhibit gallery, but they haven't maybe met you. So thank you for the gift. There is something wonderful that happens when we transfer our memories. When we say, here is what I know, and here is what I've seen, and now I will tell it to you. Harold Smith marks his hundredth year, and with all that he has seen and all that he has found, he shares it with the next generation. And as he does this, something wonderful happens.